I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to rank up your dragons and get higher might in Kingdoms of Hackfire. So, pretty much what I'm going to be showing you is how to get better bonuses for your allies, how to get allies, um, and I'm going to be showing you how to rank up your dragons or tier them up and evolve. So, what you do to, um, first, I'm going to show you how to rank up your dragons and all that. So, let's go to one I'm really close to. Okay, bubbles. So, so when you get enough shards, and you get the shards from doing this, these. So, when you do this, if you get 240,000 points, you can get Chomper shards, Chomper shards, and Yurk shards. And those can tear up your dragons. So, if I go to my dragons right now. So there's Chomper, and if, when you tear them up, you get a bunch of bonuses. So like the Badlands Hunter, it gives you 46 Badlands Monster Attacker bonus. And then the Relics, when you finish this, you can evolve them. So when you evolve, it gives you a bunch of boost. And when you um, rank them up, it gives you a bunch of boost. And so one way to do that, so like see I can't get these, is because my dragon level is too low. Like... See if I finish this, I can um, evolve Ruby again, which will help a lot. And after I get another Grassland, um, Goblin Goblins, I think it's called, I get that, and then I can rank up Ruby. So when you evolve or rank them up, it gives you better bonuses for your allies, and it gives you might. So, like, I have my Grasslands bonus 3.28, my Badlands is 4.12, and my Swamp is 2.37. And I'm already 16 million. That's how I got a lot of my gold and all that. Like, just look at this. I can get 9.4... 9.940,000 gold. And one thing... So after you, like, get all that done, there's another way you can get up your might, and that is by joining clans. So our clan right now is number eight. We are midget militia, right? And um, yeah. So that is a really big help because when you do that, you get clan chest, and then you can get like gems, you can get speed ups, you can get um brew, and that really helps a lot. And make sure before you upgrade your town hall. So like, it takes me about like two weeks to do this. So I want to like get really like everything upgraded. So like. First, what you gotta do is upgrade the main buildings, which are Hospital, um, Clan Tavern, Warrior Atorium, University, University, Dragon Spire, Training Pit, Farm, and Quarry, and the Wall. And then, you upgrade the other buildings, which are Dragon Altar, Barracks, Study, Embassy, um, Treasury, Ward, and all that. And once you upgrade those, then you get, um, bonuses. Besides this one, you can get another farms. But the bonuses are, like, research speed boost, um, protection cap, um, what else? Troop speed boost, and then, um, then dragon altar is dragon XP bonus. So that is a big help. Dragon XP bonus, let me see mine. So, if I go into my stats right now. So my dragon XP bonus for the dragon, dragon XP bonus is 83%. So that's one thing that'll help you upgrade your dragons. Then you get a bunch of might. So before you upgrade your town hall, anything you want to do this. So because when you upgrade your town hall, you can get a bunch of new things like. So eventually when you upgrade your town hall 18 times, get a level 18 training pit, you can get these troops, which um, are knights, hunters, and pug riders. So, now the good thing is that it gives you boost. So like hunters, it gives you 100% strength when attacking monsters, and then 100% strength when defending, and 100% strength when attacking players, which I am probably going to do Pug Rider, because those ones are good, and I like this. So that's pretty much how you get Might and all that. Now, to attack monsters and get, like, shards, 
all you have to do is pretty simple. So make sure you have enough brew. I usually attack a lot, so you can need a bit of brew. And so you go to Badlands for this one because it's skeletons. Skeletons is the Badlands. Goblins is grasslands. It's grassy. And then um, uh, treants are the swamp. So yeah, so we go to Badlands for um skeletons. And here are some skeletons, a little four right here, so all we have to do is hit attack. And you can attack it once, you can attack it four times, if you have the upgrade. I have the upgrade only upgraded twice, so I can only attack it three times, but I just don't have enough um, power to attack it again. I need a lot more guards, and my dragon seems to be way better. So, that is one way. To get a bunch of knights, so when your troops attack, it'll tell you battle complete on the top. So you can tap on that, see what you got. So you get a lot of resources from this. See, so I get overcapped a lot actually from this. So then I won against them again, so I got 12,000 just from two attacks. And that's pretty good. And when you get, um, when you get a kill, usually you can get, um, chests from dragons, so like you can get a dragon chest, I mean um, it's called a monster slayer chest, but I like to call them dragon chest, so after you do that, you can see that your thing has gone up, and um, then you can get shards eventually when you get 240,000 points, I will probably do that right after my troops go back, so there's one, and then, wait, boom. So there's the others. And then when they go attack, you get to kill them. So, what also helps is um, extend research, army strength, which can current marches. This gives you a bit of might. And um, so, what you can do is if you upgrade it twice, it it takes a bit of time, but, um, you can get more marches, so I can do two, plus the regular march that you get, and that is what really, really helps, so, and as you can see, I won this battle, so, I'm really close to that, finishing that, and, if you go here, you get gems, you get a bunch of stuff, and all that, and then after you do that, you can go to dragons, because you get XP, so let's say I want to upgrade uh, Badlands Dragon, so let's see if I can upgrade a rod. Oh, I might not be able to do Okay, so we'll go to this guy, and you just do this, and then you can upgrade him. And now he's a level 20. So that helps you with boost and all that, and, um, and it helps you with the bonuses. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much how you do this, um, and that is a lot of how you get a bunch of might and all that. Just make sure if you want, like, a lot of might, so you gotta do your research, and then you gotta, um, upgrade your dragons and try to evolve them, and then you gotta do upgrades, and then when you train, actually, when you finish, it gives you a bunch of might, too, so that is also a big help in that, and, um, that is pretty much how you can get a bunch of might, that is how I got almost 10 million might in almost two weeks, and that is a pretty big help, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and all that, um, subscribe, and yeah, if you want any more tutorials on how to do Kingdoms of Hexfire, just comment down below, ask me what you need to have help with, and also, if you want help, you can just go to your clan, and, um, your clan will also can help you. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and see you later.